All right, quick video on uh, creating a 12-zone Pavero system uh, from scratch, not using the uh, configuration wizard. Uh, I've got irisnet 4.0 running here. Uh, to start out, uh, your drop-down for Bosch and then Pavero, and inside of there, you'll find your controller. I've got one controller. I'm going to pick a single 2P500 amplifier. Uh, both of them gonna, I'm going to leave at the uh, default address number one. Uh, that would be the console and the amplifier. Let me grab my console here. I've got no extensions on my paging console. If you've got any extensions on your test system or on the system you're working with, go ahead and fill those in there. Um, and I'm going to leave that at uh, address number one as well. All right, so I've got all three. First things first, uh, set the IP address of your system. Uh, I am on a two-dot network here. Make sure you hit enter after you enter in any numbers into... Uh, programming within IrisNet, um, the changes don't take effect until, uh, or they're not locked in until you hit enter. So it's kind of important there. Um, interfaces side is another kind of important thing when you're getting these things running. Uh, your baud rate for your amplifiers, mine I, I have got set to 125. The reason I didn't leave it at the default, which is 10, um, is because of firmware updates. If you do any kind of firmware updates at 10, it could take a lot longer than it will if you uh, if you raise the speed. Um, open interface, leave that uh, off. Uh, there's no uh, there's no open interface connections to this te test system. Uh, maybe going over that in another video, basically. So, um, all right. So, start off here. Are our zones and topology. I'll go there first. Here, um, what we have to do here is basically connect our amplifier outputs to our uh, our internal router of the controller. Um, this has to match the wiring that you have physically. There is a pilot tone signal that will be monitored between the two. So very critical that you do uh, link those together here. All right, so the uh, line supervision tab here, uh, once we're in here, we've got our 12 zones. Uh, we can turn off or change the type of supervision within the system. There's impedance, no supervision, EOL, and the Plena EOL. The Plena EOL requires a contact closure coming back into the system to uh, trigger for uh, a fault. Um, I'm just going to leave it as impedance. Um, it's going to it's going to give me uh, a hard time until I give it a reference uh, impedance levels, and for that I need to do a couple measurements here. Uh, the measurement period, I always make a habit of changing that to daily versus permanent. Um, you can do permanent. However, the controller and amplifier will click uh, constantly because it will be cycling through all the zones doing impedance checks. Uh, this is the way, basically, uh, in this in this way, it's going to do a impedance check just once a day. Uh, it'll run that test. All right. In the power management tab, uh, there are a few things that... I need to shut off um, because I don't have any battery backup and I don't have any reason to switch to standby or anything like that. Um, I'm going to turn all this off. And that is, um, if I leave this on, you'll get some situations where the system will come up online and it will be in standby mode and you'll have to flip it to uh, mains mode. Uh, or you'll get some faults because it's looking for contact closures and they're not there, basically. So uh, if you're not using any kind of battery backup, this is the basically uh, uh, the, the layout you can, you can go with. Um, at this point, I could go online. And uh, let me go ahead and go online here and send everything over. And then we'll go ahead and check our fault statuses and see if our system is functional. Go ahead and let this load. All right, so under my supervision tab, I've got a fault on the amplifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the amplifier itself under the supervision tab, and here we go. So it doesn't have a battery backup, and that's not connected. And there we go. No faults, system is green. I do have it wired in this in the same situation where, or in the same method uh, as it's expecting, so no faults. 
At this point, I could make zone selections on the paging console, hit and hold the talk key, and we should have a fully functional system. Very basic, 12 zones, no messages, no contact closures coming in to uh, make any changes to the system or uh, trigger any actions, but a functional 12 zone, no fault system. Uh, I'll save this setup here and then build off of this for other videos. Thank you for watching.